All right, so number nine. Now, first thing, you got to break this problem into three parts. There's, there's three parts to the journey, and the rule is if your acceleration changes, if the acceleration of the object changes, the problem needs to be broken wherever that point is or points. So see right here, this car, this car accelerates, you're told at 2.77 meter per second squared, and then bam, right here, this acceleration ends, and we have a new acceleration. So we're gonna break this into part one, part two, and then part three is over here, uh, where the car has a negative acceleration, which is just a deceleration. You know, if you're moving with a positive velocity, positive meaning to the right, negative meaning to the left. So see for this last part here, the velocity of the car, it's the car is moving to the right, but slowing down. That's why the acceleration is negative. So it's three separate parts, uh, and you should know wherever acceleration changes, you have to break the problem at that point. Okay, so what we're asked to solve for, um, well, let's go through the given first of all. So one, the car starts from rest. So see right here, I put V, the, the starting velocity over here is zero. The car starts from rest and it moves with constant acceleration of 2.77 meter per second squared for 15 seconds. Okay, so that's the first part. <clears throat> the second part is constant velocity. Now guys, if an object moves with constant velocity, that means it's not going faster and not going slower. So what's the acceleration? Zero. Zero. You should know, did I tell you that in here already? Constant velocity is the same as acceleration equals zero. Okay, that's really important. All right, and then notice here, 2.05 minutes. What do we have to do to those minutes? Convert them to seconds. Why do we have to convert them to seconds? Well, everything else is in seconds. Here, right there, we got second, seconds. That's in seconds. So you got to convert the 2.05 minutes to seconds. That works out to be 123 seconds. Okay, then the third part, constant negative acceleration, meaning it's slowing down uh, for 4.39 seconds. And then the car comes to rest. All right, so A, what was the total displacement for the complete trip? So can we solve for this in one calculation? No. What we have to do is we got to find x1, x2, and x3. We got to find those three displacements, okay? So let's solve for x1. Well, you know what? Up here, I'm going to write the kinematics. Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll give you the kinematics for the quiz. Yes. I'll give them to you. You just you got to know how to, how to do it. You got to know how to work the magic. But the equations are <clears throat> x equals one half a t squared plus p initial t. Okay, so these are the four motion equations right here. Okay, how can we find x1? This first displacement, which kinematic will do it? The first one. One half a t squared plus v initial t. What's v initial for segment one? Zero, so that goes away. So it's one half a t squared. One half, the acceleration is 2.77. The time is 15 squared. So x1 is 15. 311.6. So this is 311.6 meters. All right, x2. Now, notice we hit a roadblock here. <clears throat> we need, before we can find x2, I mean, is there any equation we can use to find x2, the second displacement? Uh-uh, because what do we need to find out first? We need to figure out what is this velocity at the end of the first part, right? Because what's happening during the first part? 
during the first part, the car is going faster, 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 faster. What is this velocity at the end of the first acceleration? So let's, I'm gonna erase x2. We gotta find v final at the end of the first part. What equation could we use to get this velocity right here? I think, I think the, uh, yeah, the third one looks easiest. V final equals V initial plus AT. So V initial is zero for that first part. So V final for the first part is 2.77 meter per second squared multiplied by 15 seconds. So 2.77 times 15, 41.5. 41.55. And then, <clears throat> what? by the way, what's this velocity over here going to be? 41.55. How do I know that these two velocities are the same? Because it moves with constant velocity. This whole second part here, the car moves with constant velocity. So both of these velocities at the beginning of part two and at the end of part two are 41.55. All right, now can we find x2? Yes. So solving for the second displacement, why don't we go... I think the second equation is the easiest. x equals 1 half v final plus v initial times t. You know what? Actually, let me show you. You know what? Watch. The first equation, <clears throat> x equals 1 half a t squared plus v initial t. What's the acceleration for the second part? Zero, so we get x equals v initial t. So v initial is 41.55, and then the time is 123 seconds. So x comes out as 5,110. This is definitely not to scale. 5,110. And then x3, getting the third displacement, uh, we could use, I think the second one looks real nice. Okay, so solving for x3, I would use the second equation. x equals 1 half v final plus v initial times t. What's v final for the third part? Over here. v final is 0, so x3 is going to be 1 half the starting velocity at the, be at the beginning of the last part. What's the velocity of the car? 41.55. And then we have the time for the third part, 4.39. So x3 is 91.2. All right, so that was a lot of work for part A. But I think most of the work is done. The rest of this is going to be pretty quick now. The rest of it's pretty quick. So what's the total displacement for the whole trip? We add them all up. Take this plus this plus this. So we go 5110.7. So I'm getting 5513. Okay. Uh, okay. B. The rest of this is fast now. Part B wants the average speed during one, two, and three. So basically velocity. What's the average velocity? So this is displacement over time. What was the total displacement for the whole journey? 5,513 meters. What's the total time
for the whole journey. You got to add the three together. 15 seconds plus 123 plus 4.39. The total time for the journey is 142.39 seconds. So this gives 38.7. Okay, that's part B. <clears throat> C, what was the average speed? Huh? You know what, look, what's the difference between speed Oh wait, hold on. It's for number B, it's uh, three different. Oh, you know what, guys? Hey, look. For part B, guys, for part B, what it wants is average velocity for part one. This part, it wants three different answers. So, hey, I actually just did part C. That's part C right there. Anyway.